All right, so this is the field training for the nitrous oxide system, uh, Nitronox field unit. Uh, what you have is this pack, which is carried on the Medic One truck. And the only other thing that you will need to make the system work is a full oxygen tank. All right, so we know the oxygen tank is full because we see the PSI on the front. We'll open up our unit. Uh, nitrous is given for any patient who needs some modality of pain control and you're either unable to get an IV or it would just uh, be better for the patient to use self-administered gas. When you open the unit, we have CPAP masks without the straps. Again, like I said, this is a self-administered medicine. Um, we are not to strap anything to the face. The patient has to hold the mask uh, to their face. Um, and when they are unable to do so, then they, the mask will fall off and you know the medication the administration will cease. So we have a large, we have a medium, and as we pull out our tank, this is our nitrous oxide tank, and this is our mixing system. The first step is to untangle our cords. The brown is a self-administering demand valve. This will attach to a face mask and will not signal until the patient takes a breath. The green goes to our oxygen tank. It uses the nut on the side, not the Christmas tree piece on the front. So we'll just go ahead and screw that in. Don't forget to turn the tank on. Next, we will take our connection and screw the nitrous tank onto the side. Once it gets tight, we shouldn't hear any more leaks. Ensure that this is turned on. Look at our PSI valve. Make sure that it's appropriate. It's at 35 right now, which is the maximum. That's good. For this system to work, it has to be upright. We will then put the demand valve on the mask. The mask then goes on the patient and as they breathe, the medicine will flow through the tubes. That's pretty much it to the system. If you get a leak, it's probably coming from here or coming from here, just try to tighten it up. If you have to cut the pressure, then tighten it up and turn the pressure back on and it should fix. And that's it.